Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the Traders Terminal. This is Jordan and today we're going to talk about Pound Yen. As you can see, I'm currently looking at Platformax software and this is how I'm starting my daily routine. Just going over the setups and trying to figure out an interesting idea generated by Platformax. So for Pound Yen, what we can see is that on the higher time frames, it's still neutral and that makes really a lot of sense because if we go ahead and click and open the chart and we zoom out a bit we can see that the software is actually picking up this range pretty accurately it's telling you it's neutral because it's ranging and this is fantastic especially if you're trading ranges so let's let's actually focus on the midterm which is daily four hour and one hour chart. This is where we have the suggestion that we should be looking for sales because we are in a strong bearish trend and we're currently inside a bullish correction. So let's open up the charts and see where we stand there. Now, first of all, as you can see, you have the summary there, which is telling you pullbacks and now we are expecting to continue lower. But if we go to the four hour chart, we can see what the price is doing and we can actually drop some more levels there. So we have this monthly pivot and then we have support one monthly and the price is currently going and trading in between these two zones. In terms of structures, the way I see it personally, something like this, which tells me Two waves correction makes a lot of sense, at least as long as the price is holding below this zone. And then I would expect for the price to continue lower. So we're starting to get the idea here. Um, in terms of divergences, we can see that the price is already pushing inside the divergence of this one. We can also go ahead and drop here extension to see where the 100% is and we can see that the 100% fits perfectly with the four hour chart bearish invalidation. This is plotted by the software so basically it tells you according to the logic of the software if the price breaks above this zone uh, the bearish scenario will be invalidated. Okay so this kind of fits perfectly with the double wave and if we take a look at the horizontal levels now we can see that the massive level is right there on the top, but we have one more zone that we can be using and this zone is right here, okay? So once again, this level comes up on our radar and this is from the bottom of that zone right here, all right? So this is for our chart bearish invalidation. This is uh, based on levels. This is based on 100% Fibonacci. And even if we take a look at the price action just um, you know, with the naked eye, we can see that this is a level here, right? The price broke. This is where it stopped. Double tap, pull back, and then we're looking for the continuation. So this is definitely a zone. This is definitely a level. We should be paying attention to this one. And we're currently entering this level, you see? So we have a few more interesting levels on the way. The shorter lines, those are daily pivots. Okay, resistance one right here. Then we have a uh, weekly one, et cetera, et cetera. But the biggest interest for me is right here, 153.90 or so. And that means I will be looking for sales from around this zone. So basically I want to see the price going, testing that zone, and then I would like to see the price going and continuing to the downside. As I mentioned earlier, uh, based on the levels, the invalidation will be here. Based on the software, the invalidation is slightly lower, but it's all about this zone, whether we want uh, to see whether the market is going to hold this zone or not. So you can be invalidating here, you can be invalidating slightly higher, depending on how you actually read it. But in general, if this is the zone that we're interested in, what I would like to see is for the price to go ahead test this level approximately to this zone right here, not more than the 50% of the level, and then be rejected. All that will be very clearly seen, and the price action will uh, give us clues how exactly it will happen. 
And basically what I mean by that is we don't want the price to do that, right? This is impulsiveness here. What we would like to see is compare it to this one. You see impulsiveness and there is momentum behind this move. And then you see how the candles start to react very slowly and slow down. You see the difference? So basically this is what I'm looking for, for the price to start slowing down here. False breaks to start happening. Um, bulls to have problems breaking, creating new highs. The swing lows on the inner time frames, four hour, one hour, 15 minutes even, to be tested, right? I don't want to see the price doing that. Okay, I want to see the price having troubles, having issues, zigzagging, clearing stops if someone is buying or selling, right? But basically, invalidating all these uh, lows here, having troubles, continuing higher. And this is pure price action. You don't need any software. You don't need anything else. You're just looking at how the price is reacting around the levels. And that for me means the level is being rejected, right? And it's most likely to be rejected. And then we're looking for um, the reversal and the possible sell opportunities. So that would be all for this one. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a good day.